get rid of it. It's Jay and today I'm here with my August TBR for 2019. If you are new to my channel then you don't know that my mom actually picks my TBR and she always has a little theme as to why she picked the books. So the theme that she chose for this month is based off of my birthstone book tag that we created together like two, three years ago. If you haven't already done it you should do it because it's lots of fun. I'll link it down below. The whole point of the birthstone book tag is that we took the birthstones of each month and put them to a question. Duh, that's what a tag is. But August's first stone is Peridot. We said it was a very washed out color so you had to pair it with a wishy-washy character. Her theory was that all the books that she chose for this month were very like wishy-washy colored. So they're all like a greenish blue. So that's what we're going with. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that she chose was Winter Glass by Lexa Hillier and this is the sequel to Spindle Fire which was a Sleeping Beauty retelling that I read last year. I believe I gave it a three out of five stars. So I don't actually own it anymore. I ended up giving it to my friend because we have a rule on my channel that if you read a book that's three stars or less, you get rid of it. So that's what happened to that book but the publisher emailed me and asked me if I wanted to read the second book when it was released and it's been sitting on my shelf since. That is what's happening. We're gonna hopefully read this. The next book that I have is Inland by Kat Rosenfield and this follows a girl named Callie Morgan whose mother was drowned in the ocean and it's nine years later and she gets this calling from the ocean that's like telling her to come home. I'm gonna guess that she's a mermaid. I don't know if that's actually true but that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna say that this is a mermaid book but I'm a huge fan of mermaid books so I kind of hope that it is. The next book is one that I'm actually really excited for. I've been saying that I'm gonna read it for the past like couple months and I haven't read it so Hopefully we actually do. It's A Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I don't really know that much about this other than the people who have read it have said it's really good and that it's YA horror gore. So I have a pretty weak stomach usually when it comes to gory stuff in books because my mind just goes places. But hopefully I can deal with this. See, it's weird to say that I have a weak stomach for gore because I love thriller, stabby stabby murder murder books. But gore is just a whole different genre, you know? Like it's just a lot. But I'm hoping it because it's YA gore. Maybe it's not as gory as like adult novels. I don't know. I'm probably making shit up but I'm hoping that I can handle this book. The next book I'm also really excited about because it's fairy tale retelling and I loved the first three books in the series so it's a blood spell by CG Redwine. This is a Cinderella retelling and like I said I read the first three books. I really enjoyed them so we're hoping that this is another one that I really enjoy. The next one that she chose was Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. I honestly don't know a lot about this one either other than there's a health retreat and nine strangers go to it. They're all there for very different reasons and the person who owns the health resort is very sketchy and like everyone's like focused on them trying to figure out what they're all about. Honestly, I'm gonna hope that somebody dies. I don't know if that happens, but I read Big Little Lies and I absolutely loved it. So I've kind of just been collecting all of her books and they've been sitting on my shelf, but it matches the wishy-washy color that mother was choosing. So maybe we'll actually pick it up. I believe that I can get this on audiobook. I already requested it from my library, but I'm like, 94 out of two copies so probably will not be getting it this month so we might just end up reading it physically we'll see how it goes the next book is another one that i've read a lot of this author so i've just kind of been collecting her books because i usually enjoy them but it is the good girl by mary kubica and this follows a woman named mia who goes to a bar to meet her on and off again boyfriend he ends up not showing so she decides that she is going to leave with a stranger and he basically kidnaps her and puts her into this wood shelter thing in the woods instead of giving her to his employee so I'm guessing it's like a sex trafficking thing I'm not really sure Mia's mother ends up calling the police saying that she's missing and this starts like a whole detective thing going on but we love kidnapping stories on this channel sounds very creepy but it's true I find them really entertaining so and then the final book that I have is another one where I've just been collecting the author's books because I have no self-control and this is just what we do on my channel but it is Odd Child Out by Gilly 
McMillan. This follows two teenage boys who are inseparable at their private school and then one of them ends up in the canal drowned and nobody really knows what happened to him and his best friend refuses to talk and it turns out that he is a very privileged white boy and his friend is an immigrant so it's like all that racism, classism, that kind of thing being discussed in it. Alright guys so that was my August TBR for 2019. If you are interested then check out the birthstone book tag. It never really blew up and I want it to blow up also it would make my mom really happy because she's always planning TBRs based off of that tag hoping that because I mention it people will do it. I also mention it a lot on Twitter when people are like what should I film? I'm like birth on book tag and nobody ever does it so we're a sad bean on this channel but hopefully this makes y'all do it so do it. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>